night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Say good night to the host. <laughs> well, Mr. Whitney, this has been a pleasure. Thank you for inviting us. Well, thank you for coming, Mr. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Your, your name's gone right out of my head. A few glasses of champagne does that to me. Oh, uh, that's all right. It's Nelson. Clifford Nelson. Ah. And you are... Uh... Mitzi Martin, how do you do? I'm sorry we didn't get much of a chance to talk tonight, Mr. Whitney, but... Well, you probably didn't miss much anyway. <laughs> we really should go, I think. Oh, uh, yeah. Good, Good night, night Valerie. Good night, Good night. Bye, Mitzi. Bye, Cliff. Is that really true about the effect of champagne? Mm -hmm. The truth is, I didn't know the names to begin with. In fact, I can't recall inviting either one of those people. Well, that's curious, but I'm glad you met them. They're really good friends of mine. Hmm. Maybe that's the reason they were invited. Well, that would have been a good enough reason, but I swear their names were not on the guest list. <laughs> I hope you had a very good evening, Miss Martin. Yes, I had a very nice evening. Thank you. I'll be seeing you at the theater uh, very soon, I hope. Uh, we'll uh, let ourselves out. Thank you very much. Good evening. Look, uh, I don't want you going to rehearsals alone. Mike. Yes, Geraldine. That's it. Have you seen anything of Raven? Uh, no, not for the last half hour. Uh, I've seen Miss Alexander, Mrs. Saxon. Oh, where? Uh, she's on the patio uh, with her escort. No, 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 no. We are not going to leave now. The night is still young, and I am still beautiful. I do look absolutely ravishing tonight, don't I? You're bomb. <laughs> now, come on. I've just gotten better since we were engaged. Time never seems to touch me. Well, time is starting to touch me. This late hour might be all right for you ladies of leisure, but it wreaks havoc on us hardworking cops. See, there you go. It's probably a good idea. We never did get married. We run on different clocks. It is a good idea we never got married. How dare you say that to me? I'll tell it to you because it's the truth. Look, anything we felt for each other is long since past. We both know that. So come on, what's this really all about? Why are you chasing me around here like this? And what is this ploy? You have a lot of nerve. You must be drunk. I'm sober and you know it. Now, come on, Raven, you tell me the truth. You wouldn't be trying to make somebody here tonight jealous. I like you. That's why I wanted us to become good friends, because of all the suffering we've both gone through since our engagement. I really don't think you suffered all that much. I did, too. And I already told you that I was sorry for all the things I did. You don't think I've suffered? How do you think it feels? I lost a husband. I've lost my house. I walked in here and was treated like a guest in my own house. Then why did you want to come here tonight? Because I didn't want him to think that he could keep me away. Raven, did you get an invitation here tonight, or was I used? Of course I got an invitation here tonight. You don't think he could invite Aunt Geraldine and not invite me, do you? Why not? Because we live together, that's why not. And besides, nothing was going to stop me from coming here. I want Mr. Whitney to know who he is dealing with. Yes, of course you do. That was the whole idea, to show Mr. Whitney. That's why you threw yourself on me every time he looked in your direction. You're trying to make him jealous. How dare you say that to me? I just might go home alone. In your condition, you couldn't find a ladies' room by yourself. Oh, yeah? Uh, excuse me, uh, Chief Mallory. Uh, you have a phone call from headquarters. I believe it's police business. I uh, couldn't take it out here, could I? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, we took the phone inside. It's a bit chilly outside. It's uh, in the foyer next to the staircase. Would you like to come inside? No, I want to stay out here. I don't mind. It's cool. All right. Thank you. Can I get anything for you, Miss Alexander? Of all the weird things that I have seen in this house tonight, Gunther, you are the strangest. Well, thank you. Would you like a little more champagne? Yes. I would like
like a lot more champagne. As a matter of fact, why don't you just bring out the entire bottle? Well, I think I can arrange that. Thank you, sir. <laughs> of course I remember him. He's one of your little welfare cases. In fact, he'd still be in jail if you weren't so soft-hearted. Look, I didn't ask that the guy be allowed to run around in the loose. I just thought he deserved some good psychiatric care as opposed to a long stretch in prison. It doesn't make any difference now anyway, and the guy's flipped his lid. All right, listen, what's the situation out there? Well, he's barricaded himself inside of a rooming house. His landlady claims that he's got about a half a dozen guns, you know, a couple of rifles, a few handguns, who knows what else. What makes the situation worse is that he's got enough ammunition to wage a small war. Is he alone? Yeah, there's no hostages to worry about, fortunately, and I've evacuated the building. What about the roof? No, I've got that sealed up, too. Look, he's not going to get out of there, Chief. You don't have to worry about that. Well, it sounds like you really got him bottled up. Yeah, but, Chief, listen, now, I... listen, I know what you're going to say. You don't want to have to go in shooting until you have a chance to talk him out of there. How many men we got? I've got about a half a dozen, but that's not going to do any good. The guy asked for me by name. I just don't think anybody else is going to be able to get close to him. Tyler, I'm not dressed for this. All right, listen, I'm coming out there. Don't do anything until I arrive. The same thing goes for Stoner. Stoner's not here. you got Loomis with you. Yeah, he's here. Ah, oh, Chief, just a minute. Your uh, friend Lowry is threatening to blow himself up unless you come over there and sweet talk him. Oh, God. Chief, uh, I'm sorry, I have to go. Remember what I said. Don't do anything until I get there. Sounds like trouble in River City. Yeah, if I'm not changing, there's some guy bottled up. Got a half dozen guns trying to make a one-man war out of this. I've got to leave. I've got to go over there. Geraldine? Yes, dear. I'm sorry to do this to you. I've got to leave. Could you make sure Raven gets home all right? Of course, my dear. Don't give it another thought. Okay, thank you. Excuse me. Mr. Whitney, thank you very much for inviting me. I had a great time. I wish I could stay. My duty calls, I gotta. I'm afraid it does. Good night. Good, Good night. night. Good night. Good night, Terry. Good night, Terry. I think it's about time that we left, too. Honey, can I stay just a little longer? Oh? Because uh, I promised Valerie that we'd wait to give her a lift home. You understand? Uh, yes, I understand. We've got to do something about this, Tyler. Who knows what that guy's got in his arsenal? Probably explosive. He could blow up the whole neighborhood. Well, the only word we got was that he had some small arms. So, you're willing to take that risk? Unfortunately, I think you're right. The chief said to wait here, but uh, I just don't think we can afford to do that. Let's All right. Go. Yep. Valerie, I'm in your debt. Oh, don't be silly. I didn't feel in the least like a hostess. A hostess works at making a party successful, and I didn't do a thing. You were beautiful and gracious and made everyone feel comfortable. That was no easy task, I assure you. I'm sure you'll realize that most of the people at this party tonight groaned when they read my invitation. Oh, no, I don't believe that. It's true. People came because they were curious. They wanted to see the new Sky Whitney. To say nothing of the new Gunther Wagner. Mm. Are you aware of how many guests were gaping at Gunther? And he enjoyed every gape, believe me. <laughs> you know, Sky, you wanted to sort of prove something with this party. Are you satisfied with the way it went? Oh, I was more than satisfied. I was downright smug. <laughs> well, fortunately, it didn't show. Well, we can't afford to antagonize the VIPs now, can I? I thought there wasn't anything you couldn't afford. There are things money can't buy, Valerie, just like your mother told you. I never knew my mother. Hmm, how sad for her. You know, Skylar, I really should be leaving. Why? Because it's getting late and everybody is going to be gone soon. I know. Won't that be nice? Excuse me, Mr. Whitney. Uh, hmm? I'm afraid Nancy and I have to leave. I want to thank you for a very nice evening. Yes, it was delightful. Oh, thank you. I know most people must have thought this was a rather strange affair, a kind of housewarming for a house that's been open as long as this one has. There's a very good reason for having a party. <laughs> well, something interesting came out of it for me, at least. Oh? What was that? Our conversation tonight about the Monticello News. Oh, huh. Skylar, you're not serious about that. You want to own a newspaper? Is that really what you have in mind? I know it seems rather ambitious, but uh, makes for an interesting subject of speculation, doesn't it? <laughs> well, uh, now, I, as I said, I uh, don't believe it is for sale right now, and I doubt that it's going to be in the near future. It's been in the Scarborough family for years. Uh, they're practically inseparable. But you said one man was the owner, right? No, 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 no. The family owns it. It's David Scarborough, who's the uh, publisher. Ah, and could you arrange a meeting between us, perhaps? Well, yes, I suppose I could do that. Good. 
I've always wanted to meet a newspaper publisher. I'm sure he's uh, big and heavy set and has mutton chop whiskers. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're in for a surprise. Val, would you like to go now? Yes, why not, Val? We'll be driving right by your place. Uh, I don't think Val was quite ready to leave yet. I'd appreciate it very much, Val. You told me those photo proofs I wanted were ready. We could stop by and pick them up. That's right, they are ready. This will be a good time. And thank you. Um, so I'll say good night. Thank you. Uh, I got my bags. Thank you, Jim. Yes, good, good night. night. Uh, thank you for coming. Good night, Mr. Whitney. Well, Aunt Geraldine, it's uh, just you and me now. Yes, Scott, are you and me and Raven. I should be thinking about getting her home. Raven? Raven? Where in heaven's name is she? I am not trying to control you. This guy is dangerous and you should be careful. Shh. You're going to wake up TV. Well, if you shush me any louder, you're going to wake up the whole neighborhood. You've got to take your shoes off. Why? Four squeaks. Yes, that's why. I always thought you had mice. Mice? Where? There's no mice. Come on, let me turn on the light. Okay? Well, no, you can't turn on the light. Because Great. Dee Dee is very sensitive to light. Take off my shoes. I'm going to find them in the dark. Don't well, worry. We'll find them later. Now, what did you say you wanted to drink? I didn't. But, uh, well, give me anything. Champagne makes me thirsty. Okay, now don't go away. Stay right there. I want to find you when I get back. How are you going to find the kitchen in the dark? Well, I live here, don't I? <laughs> Are you okay? All right, all right, all right. Somebody move the sofa. Probably the mice. Oh, okay, I'll try it again. Stay right there. Yeah. Did you say you wanted champagne to drink? No, I said I... I said I didn't want champagne. Champagne makes me thirsty. Good. Okay. We don't have any. Great. Okay, give me ice water. Give me anything. Ice water. Hey, 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 hey. I found my shoe. No. I think it's your shoe. Well, why don't you try it on and find out? Okay. Nope. It's too big for me. It must be your shoe. Well, just for that, you may not get your water. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm cold. sorry. I'm sorry. That's ice. Hey. It's all right. It's all right. It's all your suit. Come on. It's all right. I can just pull my jacket. No one will know. Look, uh, I, uh, I really do have to go. You gotta go. Well, I, I, I have to be in court at nine. And... Look, thanks for, uh, tonight. Thank you. I mean, you don't want anything to drink. No, I, I gotta go. Mm. Oh, ah. oh. Hey. This is great. Well, you're telling me. Yeah. No, no, I mean, I think I found my shoes. Yeah, there they are. Hey. Shh, keep quiet. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, oh. Look, uh, I really, uh, I should go. Let's see, I could be a, a lawyer. An actor or a lover, but I can't be all three in one day. I mean, I gotta get some sleep, you know. Oh. I um, I should be done with this case about eleven or so. Why don't you meet me in my office and we'll uh, pick this up where we left off tonight, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. See ya, furry. 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 Yes, hello. Who are you? Hello. Listen, I uh, hope you don't mind my calling you so late, Mitzi. Well, I don't even know who's calling me so late. Uh, it's Gunther. Uh, Gunther Wagner. You mean from the... What do you want? 
I, uh, I just wanted to talk to you for a minute. Look, I, you know, I can't talk to anybody right now. And my roommate's asleep. What? You got a roommate? Uh, that guy you were with? He, he's not your roommate, is he? Well, of course not. I, what, what, what do you think I am? I think you are the cutest thing since baby shoes. Uh, look, Mr. Wagner, I don't think we have anything to talk about. Well, you could uh, start by saying thanks. What for? For the party. Who do you think sent you the invitations? Gunther. Oh, listen, I gotta go, baby. Uh, sleep tight. <clears throat> we seem to be having some trouble locating Miss Alexander. You did say she was on the patio, Gunther, but... Yeah, yes, that was the last place I saw her. Uh, I think she was uh, planning on leaving. That's probably what she did, Geraldine. Got a ride home with one of the other guests. Now, I wouldn't worry about Raven. You know even better than I do that she's perfectly capable of taking care of herself. Oh, no, I want to thank you two very much. And not just for bringing me home, if you know what I mean. Mm, rescuing you from Sky Whitney's clutches. Well, now, I could have done that myself, but you made it so much simpler. <laughs> Since he considered you his hostess tonight, he might have asked you to wash dishes afterwards. Or something like that. <laughs> Can I get you anything? Not for me. Just wanted to see you in safely. And I appreciate that. You know, this neighborhood really isn't the safest after dark. I've got to take these shoes off. I am well aware of that young lady. I see those crime statistics in my office every day at the paper, and they're not getting any better. You should consider moving. Nancy, I've considered it a dozen times, but I stop considering it every time I look at the rents of other apartments. So... You know, Valerie, I wouldn't mind a glass of water. Oh, let me get one. No, no, no. I know where the kitchen is. Well, did you enjoy yourself? I got the impression you did. Well, your impression was right. You seem to be on uh, better terms with Skye than you were before. Oh, he's rather hard to resist, Nancy. He's fascinating. And he won't take no for an answer. But I guess you're thinking about Jim. I'm not prying. I'm still seeing Jim. The truth is, I just don't feel ready right now to see anyone on an exclusive basis. Well, my goodness, you're so young. You should be playing the field. Yeah. I guess I just never thought that Skylar Whitney would be part of that field. Oh. Well, I'm sure I'll settle down to one man one of these days. Yes, you will, when you're sure that you found him, just as I did. <laughs> did uh, I miss something? No, no, not a thing. Uh, party, Mr. Whitney. Yes. What was the body count? Oh, about a case. Mm. Not a uh, very heavy drinking crowd, huh? No, but heavy weights, nonetheless. Mm. Tell me, Gunther, you ever heard of a man named David Scarborough by any chance? Mm, no, sir. I just thought perhaps in your travels here and abroad. Well, never mind. I think I'll have a small nightcap and go to bed. Uh, would you like for me to pour, sir? No, it's all right. Well, I can tell you one thing about tonight, Mr. Whitney. Uh, Oh, Spencer's going to be very unhappy that he missed this one. Yes, he will. He should be home any time now. I'm anxious to speak to him. Hopefully he has some good news for me about a business transaction I'm interested in. Mm -hmm. oh, well, uh, good night, Mr. Whitney. Good night, Gunther. <laughs> 